Okay, so welcome back. Today we're going to start a series, a brief series, where we're going to show you how to write a C-Sharp Visual Studios application that does much of what you see here. And here I've got a couple applications, free applications, that are basically monitoring sensors in your computer of the different components like the CPU, the memory, the disk, uh, the Ethernet speed, and they are providing a display of certain amounts of data from those components. Here we've got the task manager from Windows. You right click on the taskbar and you get task manager under performance. And in my case, I've got these 16 logical processors in my CPU and it's giving us real time scrolling data of for each logical processor what the utilization is over the last 60 seconds. And it shows the utilization, the real-time speed. And you can get that for all the different components. You got the memory utilization, disk speed, Ethernet, and so on. Um, there's another application here on the right, which is one of many other applications that you can get. This is called HWinfo, a free application. And it does something similar, but it monitors a lot more information about your computer components. So, for example, it's got the CPU. Here I'm monitoring the current and maximum temperatures of the CPU. Uh, it's got the core voltages, the package powers. It's got for the motherboard, it's got the voltages for the different voltage rails going to the CPU and the GPU and everything else. Uh, it's got the SSD information. It's got temperatures. It's got tons and tons of stuff and you can customize this to some extent uh, as i have done here normally you would have the minimum column and an average column i've gotten rid of those i've increased the font and you can go through and you can get rid of a lot of these sensor information that you have because most people really couldn't care about you know what is the um, gpu rail voltage so there's a lot of stuff here m most people don't really care about so you can customize this and that is one reason why we are talking about writing our own application if you want to really customize it to what you really need so you don't have to spend a lot of time going through and trying to make this look like you want it to look. So for example, let's say I just want one bit of information, which is the CPU current and maximum temperature. That's all I care about. And I would also like to have a scrolling chart of that over the last 30 minutes or 60 minutes or whatever, so I can see what the trend has been. So that's why we might want to make our own simple application that we can customize however we want. So that's going to be the goal of this brief series to show you how we can do that, right? A very simple custom application in C-Sharp Visual Studio Windows Forms. So where do we start? Well, thankfully, there is a very nice free and open source piece of software that is very much like what you see in, for example, HWinfo. And it is called Open Hardware Monitor. And it grabs a lot of data from your components and will display them like HWinfo. However, Open Hardware Monitor, uh, I believe it was started development back in 2010. Uh, unfortunately, about four years ago, we're in 2024, so back in 2020, development stopped for Open Hardware Monitor. However, some nice group of people decided to fork that and they came up with an actively developed what's called Libre Hardware Monitor. And you can see five days ago, they've been updating it. Um, so this is an under, under active development and it has improved on some things that you might see in Open Hardware Monitor. But basically the core of that is Open Hardware Monitor. So what we're gonna do is we are going to clone this Libre Hardware Monitor and there's a couple things you can do with this, which are really nice. You can clone it as a solution in Visual Studio and have the entire project or solution at your disposal. And that's great if you want to learn about what's actually going on under the hood. And we're going to use that so we can understand how you can grab data from your components and display the different, uh, for example, CPU temperature and so on. But also what you can do is 
you can start a blank solution in Visual Studio and you can just use a NuGet package manager to reference this Libre hardware monitor library and write a very simple application using that library. So for those people who don't want to actually learn and don't want to get into the details, I know most of the people on the internet are basically, you know, what code do I download and what button do I press to run it? For those people, um, you can write a simple application referencing this Libre hardware monitor library and write some very simple code to access that. But we're going to do, we're going to do that. We're going to go through and see how that all works, but then we're going to try to write from scratch our own code to do something very simple, and that is just to grab the CPU temperature in real time and display it in a scrolling chart as you showed. So that's the ultimate goal of this, and we're going to see how you can do that. Um, if you've worked with hardware and Windows, you probably know about WMI. We're going to be using WMI, which is Windows Management Instrumentation, which is kind of at the core of this. So we're going to show you how to do that. So that's the goal of this. We're going to show you how to clone this Libre hardware monitor, uh, make it a Visual Studio solution, and then we're going to run it and we're going to see basically what's happening at the core so we understand what's going on. So the first step is to go to GitHub and find Libre Hardware Monitor. And over here where it says code, we are going to go down to the cloning options. And here we've got a URL for this. And we're going to hit this copy URL to clipboard. So we can use that when we start up our new Visual Studio project. You could also download the zip. I don't recommend that because you'll probably encounter some errors due to security concerns downloading from, a, from an internet site. Um, when you do it with Visual Studio, it takes care of all that, so I wouldn't recommend downloading the zip. But now that we've got this URL, we can go into Visual Studio and use that URL to automatically clone this Libre hardware monitor. So here I've started up Visual Studio 2022. I'm going to go to the first one, clone a repository. And at the repository location, I am going to paste that URL. And I'll use this path that's where it's going to put my solution. It's going to go into source repos and Libre hardware monitor. And all I have to do is hit clone. And it should clone that and give you that as a solution in Visual Studio. So now I have opened the Libre Hardware Monitor solution. There were multiple solutions that it gave me, but I've opened up the Libre Hardware Monitor solution. And you can see, first of all, Libre Hardware Monitor Lib, the library, is set as the startup project. We want to go to Libre Hardware Monitor, set as startup project. And then what we can do is we can run it, and we should get the application with all of the sensor data. Now the first thing you're going to see is this task requires the application to have elevated permissions. So what we can do is we can restart under your normal credentials and it will run. So we're going to hit restart and now we've got our solution. The Libre hardware monitor is set as the startup. So we can hit run and here we go. We've got the Libre hardware monitor with all of the many sensors being monitored. So we can scroll down, you can see we've got tons and tons of information. So we know it's working. Now what we can do is we can look at the code and we can reverse engineer it and see what's going on, see how this is all getting done. And then we can extract the important stuff that we want. We can also see about how we can do a real-time scrolling chart of whatever data we want in this application. So now here we are in uh, program.cs. I've gone to the Libre Hardware Monitor project, and we've got program.cs. I double-clicked, and you can see the entry point, static void main, and um, this is where it checks if files are available and so on. Uh, you can see all required files. It's looking for AGA.controls, Libre Hardware Monitor, lib.dll, so it's using that library. And also, it is using Oxyplot, 
which we talked about before when we talked about going from .NET Framework to .NET, the newer .NET, where they have deprecated the charts that we've had for many, many years. So we looked at some open source alternatives to the charts that we could use in .NET, and one of them was Oxyplot. So this Libre Hardware Monitor, and I believe the Open Hardware Monitor, has decided to use Oxyplot to do any real-time charting. So that's an option in this, since we're still using uh, .NET Framework because it's got a lot of the features we need. We're probably going to use Windows Charts. But this basically gives you the beginning. What we're going to do in the next video is we're going to start to dig into what is the basic methodology for grabbing the data. And then we can write a very simple application to do that. We're also going to start up a blank application and reference this as a NuGet package so that we can um, show how to, to use that and write our own application that uses this Libre Hardware Monitor Lib. So that's it for this one. If you're liking these videos, I encourage you to hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notifications. But most of all, please let others know that we're here so we get some views. Really appreciate it. Otherwise, take care. Have a really good day. Thanks.